Okay, this is my JAMA to Super Nintendo adapter. And it has a audio amp section built in right here. There's volume control. It has a power resistor so that um, switching power supplies in the arcade cabinets will uh, turn on. Uh, without it, uh, either they won't turn on or they won't regulate the voltage properly. This is for all the signal input for the switches, up, down, left, right, etc. This edge connector here and this edge connector here is for a Versus cabinet, like uh, the original Super Mario Brothers. A Versus cabinet uses a different monitor and has some other issues, but basically it's plug and play um, if you have a, a, a regular monitor, a standard monitor, or a liquid crystal in there. Uh, Anyways, uh, of course, the Versus cabinet has only two buttons, so you're limited to two buttons unless you wire in extra. Now, this ad adapter was made to go into a Nintendo Super System cabinet. That's the arcade version. The arcade version used great big controllers like this, um, the, which mounted, you know, with big uh, bolts on the back side, so it mounted right to an uh, arcade control panel. Now, there's no circuitry in this thing at all, so um, so we have to convert the just the regular push button signals, kind kind of like a you know an arcade jamma uh, into signals that the Nintendo can understand. So I made this little adapter here that plugs directly into this, and then that of course plugs in over you know at the Nintendo. Okay, now this uh, adapter uses a, a SCART connector, and the SCART is what outputs the red, green, blue sync from the from the Nintendo's uh, audio video port that thing there. And so, um, so we can plug that in. Okay, let's see here, right there. The adapter also has a power cable. That makes it real handy. You don't have to have the power brick. So we'll plug in the power. There's the blues. Okay. Alright. Now there's the game. So now because uh, I'm using a SCART cable. I also have uh, the possibility of outputting red, green, blue, and uh, composite sync. Turn this down so you can hear me. Um, anyway, so those are there. Okay, uh, because I designed this to go into a Nintendo Super System cabinet, the Super System uses this, this connector here. So essentially it's kind of plug and play. Uh, with that connector that enables uh, the original harness. My intent was not to um, not to do to do as little as soldering or wire splicing as possible. I wanted everything to be plug and play. And so um, now these uh, connectors here is for bridging this little smaller adapter here. So I you know with a with a ribbon cable. So you could you could use this controller, you know, you could mount it to your own arcade control panel, you know, and use it if you if you had some of those laying around or, or wanted to use them. So um, now this is a VGA connector, but it's not VGA. This is just a simple way of connecting, you know, a monitor um, like this. Let's see here. And so that's this goes to my little flat screen. Uh, monitor. I should turn on in a second. There it is. And so, but it's not, it doesn't do any signal conversion. It's just a connector. A lot of monitors use the VGA connector, even though it's not VGA. So, okay. And then, um, let's see. So, push start. So 
Sorry for the bad video. Okay. So you see I got the, super, the, the twisty jump, I got the regular jump, I can run slow or I can run fast. Controls work as well as um, I use start button to um, to be the start and select um, or pause I guess I should say and then the other one is select but since I haven't completed this level I won't exit so okay uh, this is part one of my Super Nintendo JAMA adapter like I said it uses SCART uh, input. It, uh, I designed this to have a, kind of a, a wide variety of uses and applications. So um, check out video number two to uh, see the rest of what it can do.